Well, hello there. It's your girl, Stace in the Place, and I'm here accompanied by a little Mr. Tux. Um, he decided that he wanted to wine until I picked him up, so he will be joining us and showing our semi-annual sale haul. Yeah, Tuxy. Um, so <laughs> I ended up going to three different stores um, today, and oh my gosh, like when I tell you it's shopping today wore me out. I don't know what it was, maybe because I haven't really gone to the store in a while or what, but uh, when I finally got home, I was just passed out. <laughs> um, so let's jump into the haul and take a hot second to subscribe. Let's grab our first little bag here. Um, so this is all from the first store where we did the most damage. Well, I did the most damage because Tux uh, didn't go to the store. Yeah, because you're not cool. This is cool. Okay. Um, so I picked up an emerald mist. I know. I told y'all I wasn't going to do any body care, but Winnie tried to warn y'all that, you know, I say something and then end up coming home with a lot of body care. Oh, but I did say I was going to get two of the plumerias. Um, shocking thing was like, I was shook it. Um, I smell the plumeria. I really enjoyed it. The juniper breeze though, and the White tea and sage, I was a little, yeah. Um, anyhow, oh, sorry. So the Emerald Mist, and I got this one for 75% off. Um, the Saltwater Breeze Scrub was 75% off. Yes, please, and thank you. As long as it is not a um, one of those sand scrubs, then like, we're good. But if it's a sand scrub, mm -mm, it's gotta stay. I was also foolish and picked up the, the little um, tea towels, but they were so nice. I mean, the quality, it's so thick. And I was like, oh, this will be perfect. So of course that was just yet another excuse to throw it in the back. Um, let's see, so I picked up two of these at the first store. Um, here is a saltwater breeze, a shower gel that was 75% off. And for the husband picked up an after dark travel cologne. Uh, for 75% off. So, you know, it's pretty good. Um, the Plumeria was $3.95, but I'm sure most of y'all already know that, right, Tuxie? So they already know our friends are in the know. They be doing things, they be shopping, they be doing stuff. Okay, let's set this over here. All right. And now the big box. Tux, can you hold this? Well, not a box, but bag. Um, let's see here. So, <laughs> more body care but I can explain I can explain okay so I picked up one shower gel of the amethyst waves one shower gel look at me look at that growth for 75% off um I picked up one of these mists because I had I had ordered this one um uh, with one of my rewards and when it came the um top of it was broken off so picked up one of these babies for 75% off um and then here is uh, you know, I still need to, I still need to tell you guys about my feelings about these moisturizing body washes. And now I just like, I can feel the hypocrisy just circling around me right now as I hold this one that I purchased today. But it was 75% off and it's a winter scent to e. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just, we're just going to carry, we're just not even going to go there. We're just going to keep going, keep going. Okay. Um, also I picked up two of these cute little um, cloud wallflower plugs. They are not the scent control, but they're just so cute and they light up. So I was just like, yes, please. Um, I am not going to throw these in the bag. So I'm just going to set these over here. And for candles, Tuxie, can you tell them? Tuxie's like hiding over here. Um, so I was super lucky. The first store that I went to it had 75% um, off candles. Here, let me move this. Um, so first one, oh, one of my favorites, iced winter balsam. Oh, and it just smells like fresh balsam, but like, it just, I don't know, it has like this coldness to it. Like, you know, when you chew like, you know, you could chew like some regular schmegular gum, like double mint or like double, uh, why do I want to say double tree? No, it's double mint gum, the green one. But then you try like one of those menthos gums or like, I don't know, the ones that have like the little bursts of like coolness or freshness or mint and you're like, whoa, took me by surprise or like, Hello, let's open your sinuses. Like, 
but it gives that element to this. I guess it's the iced part, but oh, I love it. Um, oh, sorry, Taxi. Um, so I only picked up two. There were a lot in store, but I was like, nope, I'm only gonna pick up two. I don't need a whole bunch. Like, nope, gonna be good. Um, what other candles do we have in here? Two more. Um, oh yeah, I couldn't believe they had a tipsy elf like hiding deep down um, in one of the little, um, uh, it's not a column, but in like the little stash that they set up. And I like, oh yeah, and I got a Driftwood Waves. I just really love this one, you guys. Like it's nice, it's powdery. Um, I've had it in the living room and it really projects for me. And um, I've also had it in the bathroom and the bedroom as well. Great. Great candle, highly recommend. And for $10.95 with this beautiful lid, like, yes, please. Is it even a question? Um, all right, sorry, Sterling. Fox, do you mind? Because you're 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 not helping our friends see our stuff here. You're just you're just kind of in the way, my love. You know you don't care. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> all right. Next up, um, I picked up another one of these scrubs. I mean, I, I scrub every night, so I don't know. I want I want to say like it's kind of a ritual, but then I feel weird saying that something's a ritual. I don't know. <laughs> um, Plumeria picked up a mist of that one. And da -da -da -da, I found another black marble uh, lamp holder. So I'm super excited about that. Um, and this one was 50% off. Let's put this guy there, and then here's this one. I thought this was so cute. So when they came out, I was like, oh, it's cute. But like, would I pay 34 something for it? Mm, probably not, because I'm not a super like, like if it was Christmas themed, oh, I would be tempted, tempted by the fruit, honey. But since it's not like a Christmas one, I was like, oh yeah, it's cute. But if it goes on sale, I'll pick it up. But if not, mm -mm, ain't gonna worry about me. Um, so <laughs> that and six more candles. Da -da -da. Um, so I picked up the um, Marshmallow Fireside and Black Cherry Merlot. Oh, it smells so good. I can't wait to burn this one. I was gonna burn it um, this evening, but y'all, when I tell y'all I was so tired by the time I got home, like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, so I picked up two of those and then. Tux, you're really cramping um, the style of this video here. I hope you know that. I hope you're enjoying this. To him, not you guys. Oh, oh now you want to get up? Oh, okay. Um, I picked up two watermelon lemonade and eucalyptus mints as well. Super, super thanks to Miss Philly Girl 31 because it smells so good. And she was very adamant about this one. I was like, she right. Oh, I can't wait to burn this one. I don't know. Maybe I'll burn this one tomorrow, like morning, lunchtime, and then I'll burn the um, marshmallow fireside and black cherry merlot in the afternoon. What do you think, Chelsea? Do you think that'd be a good idea? Is that a good idea? Um, what's this one? Oh, this one's the White Gardenia and Tiki Beach. I only picked up one of this one. It smells nice, but I don't know. I was like, you know, I could just have one and warm it and it'll be part of the little collection. Um, and then I picked up only one of the pineapple mango and fresh balsam because I have some still from last year. And it smells so good. Yay. Oh, delicious. Um, it's funny how you can like not care for certain scents and then you smell it in a certain form and then you're like, oh wait, it actually is pretty good. All right, Taxi, I love you, bud, but you've got to go. You've got to go. Go play with your sisters. Thank you. Okay, so that was all from the first store. So second store um, went into the mall and in the mall, there's like two separate stores. There's one. Um, on the top floor, one on the bottom floor. So here is the bag. Can you believe it? Like I walked out. I'm like so proud of myself. I walked out with just a little bag and I was like, oh, I remember the days when I would like go into the store. Well, I guess candle day is different, but like, I don't know. If, if it was any other sass and we weren't like possibly moving and all this stuff, I'd probably be walking out with like four huge bags out of every 
um, <laughs> store like a fool. Um, anyhow, so <laughs> they had um, two more of the tea towels. So I picked those up. Hey, hey, cut it out. What are you doing? What are you doing? I try to be nice and you guys, you guys just cut off. Yeah, are you just cutting up? Hi, Sterling. Sterling, uh, Sterling was part of the just so recent WF Smackdown that you just heard from these little critters um, playing. Yeah, can you say hi? You wanna do the second one? Okay. Um, so <laughs> picked up after dark. This one was 75% um, off for the cologne. And we picked up two for dad. Did we pick up two for dad? Yeah, say happy Father's Day, baby. Oh, oh my gosh, Shirley. Yeah. Okay. And then <laughs> picked up um, a after dark shower gel, which was also 75% off. And then a Plumeria yeah, shower gel. Um, okay, let's set this here. All right, Sterling. You, you can you do you ready for the second one? Okay, so um, so that was the first store that was on the bottom floor. And I'm just like so proud of myself for planning it that way. Cause I went to the bottom one and then went to the top one. And it's wild because the bottom one is the bigger store. And I think it has more, I guess it has just has more people frequenting um, that store in particular. And so <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna go to the bottom store and then go to the top one because the top one is smaller. It's more, mm, I would say it's probably about like, a little bit smaller than the average like standalone store um but i was like yeah i'll go to that one because alas and on my way back to the car because i figure like it'll probably be a lot in there and i was right um so picked up this beautiful pink little kindle holder what do you think sterling does it go with your outfit does it go with your fit i think yeah does it go with your fit yeah you like it with your fit okay all right Let's put it down. All right. And then what else do we have here? You want to see here? Okay. Um, let's see. Picked up some soaps. Um, so two of the white oak and vanilla for 75% off. Hey. Love saying for 75% off, right, Sterling? Um, <laughs> I picked up this fresh balsam. Like, don't get me wrong. I love fresh balsam, but I have the matching candle. And so at first I was like, Stacy, like, you do not need more soaps. But then I was like, oh, but come on, it matches. And it was only one. It was meant to be, right, Sterling? Sterling is like, no. <laughs> um, and then they had a winter. And I was like, oh, yes, like give me all the Christmas. That's what we love. Um, and then I, I had to pick up one more of the little greenhouse. Um, this one was 50% off. Could I have waited and maybe tried to get a 75% off? Probably, but I don't know you guys like I just I don't know I wasn't really in a super like um like I think because we're traveling so much and stuff over the summer that I'm just like the idea of me going to like a whole bunch of multiple stores all throughout the weeks um is hard especially knowing the Halloween will be coming so soon so I'm trying to just like I'm just trying to chill you know um, anyways, <laughs> chilling did not stop me from picking up a ginga um, for 75% off. And y'all, the first store I went into, oh, here, let me pack this stuff up and tell you guys real quick. So the first store I went into, like, I was shook it, right? Because in all my, in all my day, all my time, um, there, there hasn't really been a lot of foot traffic there, but like, then again, now that I think about it with like school and, um, uh, just being busy and other things that I've had going on, I would say that I haven't necessarily been frequenting that store, um, as much as I used to months ago. So, you know, I mean, things may have changed, like who am I, but a regular customer. Um, but like, when I tell you, I walked into that store and it was just people just like, like all over the place. Thankfully, for the most part, people were like nice and courteous, but I was shook. Okay, your girl's not ready. And there was this one lady who had like at least about four of the Ginga um, perfumes in her car. And I was like, girl no offense to gingham but like i hope you enjoy all of that or but she's probably like gifting and stuff and i mean who cares like it's none of my business what she's doing but i was just like and her me was like gingham 
really, that's the, that's the one we're loading up on? But I mean, then again, I'm like, it's 75% off for a perfume and it's Ginga. I'm like, that's a great um, springtime perfume. So I'm like, hey, do you, sis, do you? Um, but it was just funny to me. But anyhow, so, uh, all right, Sterling, this is the last, the last part of your turn here. Um, so I really, I didn't need this. I'm just going to admit that I didn't need it, but I wanted it. <laughs> is another one of these pineapples. I just feel like they were very underrated. Don't you like the pineapple? See, Sterling likes the pineapple. Don't, we can't eat this one though. Um, <laughs> she's like, girl, don't be out here trying to treat me like Patty LaBelle. My bad. Um, <laughs> which is, is, oh, sorry. Is this hilarious thing going on on TikTok about, um, Patty LaBelle was out there on this TV show and, this lady was like, oh, you know, but don't eat the wrapper of the cupcake. And like, they had this back and forth. So that was, that's what that little reference was. Um, but anyhow, this is the cute little pineapple. I thought it was so adorable and it was 50% off. Um, it just, it looks great. And they put a little candle on here. Some people have put lights inside. I don't know. I'll think about it. We'll see. We shall see. Right, Sterling? We finna see, baby. Oh, that was so nice. They wrapped all the other things. Okay. This one. <laughs> so, I know, Sterling. I know. I talk so much trash about this. So, hear me out. Okay. I wasn't a huge fan of this candle holder because, I don't know, I just felt bad. I'm like, this poor little turtle, he's out here just trying to live his best little life, trying to get his grub on, try to eat some little bugs and chill at the water. And then... Who am I to sit like a candle on his little back and, and be like, oh, it's decor for his shell. But like, he's just out here trying to be cute. He's just out here trying to be best. I don't know. For some reason in my mind, I just felt some kind of way about like, I don't know, loading up the poor little turtle on his back. I was totally thinking too, way too much into it as usual. Um, but when I saw him and he was by himself and uh, the husband, like he likes turtles and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give this little turtle a little home and you know, maybe, maybe he's got a smile on his face so maybe he enjoys holding candles. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna put him up there for safekeeping. Well, Mr. Turtle, um, let's see, we got two more things in here. Dun, dun, dun. Oops, sorry, Sterling. You, you're the one who decided to come up here. So I put this one up in green. I, it's cute, guys. I mean, for 50% off, and I feel like you can do it this way or this way. You know, you never know. I think it was great. Oh, oh, and then I'm like, oh, this looks cute. You know, you know. Mm -hmm. Am I selling you on this yet? Mm -hmm. Flipping it over. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, they're like, ma'am, can you please get to the hall instead of playing with stuff? My bad. Sorry, I'm fresh off of a like three hour nap. So I'm like in that energized, but like still kind of tired state. But don't mind me. Um, <laughs> all right. And then I pick, I know, I know. So I don't know y'all, I picked it up in purple. I was very like hesitant about it. Cause I was just like, I'm not a huge purple person, but then when I was in the store, I was starting to have FOMO, and then I was like, if I don't pick it up now and feel like I got all four colors, then like later on, I'm going to regret it if I decide that I wanted to get all four and can't find it. And it just so happened that at that um, store, they ended up having all four. So I just went ahead and picked it up. <sighs> you know, sorry. Okay. So, Winnie, do you want to do the last door? Winnie, you want to do the last door with us? Sorry, Sterling, you're out. You're out, baby. Say goodbye. Say bye. I'll see you guys later. Yeah? Come on, Winnie. She's like, girl, bye. Oop, Sterling. Come on. All right. Let's see. You ready? Let's go grab this bag. All right, friends. This is the last. Bag. Is it the last bag, Wayne? It's the last bag, baby. The last bag, baby. Okay, so this is 
um, the standalone store that I usually will go to. It's not like my top, top store because I have this one store that's like super close to me. I started to go there on the way home, but then I got caught up in TJ Maxx and then after I left there, because y'all already know, if you go to TJ Maxx, like, energy gone. Um, so I didn't make it to that one, but this is like my, I don't know. This is like, if the store closes to me or the store that's my favorite store that's a little further away, like if either of those don't have the item that I want on uh, for Bopis, then I go to this store. Uh, but it's a standalone store. But y'all, check us out. Check me out, baby. Check us out. We got blush card again. We we got blush card again. Yo, I cannot believe my eyes when I saw this. And I was just like, immediately, yes. And these were the only two that were in store. And I was like, what are the chances that I was going to come across blush card again after making that video? And I... We'll have all the little haters to know that Blush Cardigan is the one and the only body cream that I have ever used up, like the entire body cream within a month. That's how good it is. Okay, that's how bad you need to put your paws on it if you see it out there in the streets, right, Rudy? You want to put your paws on Blush Cardigan? Oh, okay. Everyone wants to lay down. Rudy, you were a trip. Okay. Great. I'm glad you're here, Winnie, because as Winnie told you all, even though I said I was only going to get one mist and one shower gel, I ended up getting one mist and two shower gels at one store, and then I got a mist and two shower gels at another store because, okay, hear me out, because, um, I don't know, y'all. I've tried smelling Juniper Breeze and the breeze was just not breezing for me. It's not horrible, but it just gave me fresh uh, fresh rain, Ooh, fresh jungle rain, um, or fresh rain jungle, what is it, fresh jungle rain? Yeah, fresh jungle rain vibes. Like the smell just wasn't there or like life of the party. Like the smell was there, but it was so faint and I was just like, mm -mm. And that YT and Ginger, like, it wasn't horrible, but it just, it wasn't it for me. And honestly, like, I was disappointed when, I'm sorry, I had to tell them. I was disappointed and I was just like, no, immediately no. Um, and so with that, I just ended up picking up two sets of the um, Plumeria. Because I was actually, like, I was very impressed with the smell. And now I see why. Um, all the old heads were like, oh yeah, man, Plumeria's back. Like childhood memories on love, nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. And I'm like, oh, I see why everybody was feeling Plumeria. And let me tell you, you know, I know that they like put some of their, they don't put literally all the stock out to start off with. And they'll slowly replenish it through the day as people are like picking. But when I tell you at, what time was it? It was like 10.03 when I walked through the first store. It was maybe four shower gels of Plumeria and like a handful of, hey, and a handful of um, mists left. And I was like, dang, the store just opened and y'all already taking them all. Oh my gosh, Plumeria ain't no joke, honey. She the next gingham fresh. Because to see, I didn't even see any gingham fresh, um, any gingham fresh perfumes out there in the streets. I saw a couple of shower gels. I didn't see any scrubs. Like gingham fresh is that girl. And it's wild to me how gingham vibrant is 50% off. But in like three, in all three stores I went to, but gingham fresh was like buy three, get one. Girl, buy. Absolutely not. Like, no. Absolutely. Tell them, Winnie. Absolutely not. We do not do buy three, get one. We don't. Not in this house. Anyways, I digress. Um, so <laughs> the last items that I picked up were on the four of these fresh sheets wallflowers. Usually I try to wait until they're like $2.95, but these were $3.50. Um, I like searched for these before one of my friends like really, really loved uh, this wallflower. And I was like, oh, let me see if I can find them for her. I can never find them. And they sold out online. So when I saw them in store, wow. Yeah. Is that how you really feel? That's how you feel about fresh sheets? You didn't even smell it. 
She, she, they cut up. Come get your nieces and your nephew, please, because they cut up. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to pick this up and try it out. Um, so yeah, and with that, you know, that's it for our little haul of today, of our first day of semi-annual sale. Do you want to show them your fit? Say yeah, fresh fit. America's Next Top Dog Model. I who are y'all parking at? Y'all act like y'all pay bills in here. What, what is going on? They don't, they don't even know. Um, so, you know, in summary, I feel like today was a win. I'm slightly disappointed because I couldn't find the elephant candle holder or the, um, or the butterfly candle holder. So like, boo ha ha to all the little haters who be like, oh, I don't buy anything. I just wait until the semi-annual sale. Cause guess what? It wasn't here. And I guess like, boo ha ha to me when I was like, yeah, I'll just wait to pick up the butterfly dress in my annual sale. But, but. I was willing to buy, I bought it at the 40% off sale. It's not my fault that like when it came in the mail, it just disintegrated because it wasn't in a box or wrapped or anything. It's not my fault. I was willing to buy it at 40%. But yeah, boo ha ha to me because clearly I can't find it nowhere. Um, but yeah, I don't know y'all. Like with this semi-annual sale, I think that, I think it's exciting for people who have really, um, enjoyed or have been waiting for this uh like I don't want to say last round of body care but like for mostly the spring body care um if you're lucky enough to get a store that has like the 75% off candles like you can load up but it's almost as if there's like only specific scents that are out um it'll be very interesting to see how the weeks go you know um <laughs> back in the day I would be one of those people who would be like I would set a <laughs> I would set an alarm every day at like five, who was it, like at 5.55, so then that way I could be like up and like blink a couple of times to get my eyes open, and I put on my glasses and like check and scroll the website for when they refresh and reload um, for new candles that might be 75% off um, to like hurry up and order them real quick and stuff in the morning. Oh my gosh, I was one of those people, um, but you know, I I'm gonna enjoy sleeping in, um, not getting up that super early to check the website and order candles since we're moving. Like, I'm just like, I don't wanna take on any um, extra stuff to move because then that's even more money, more time and stuff. But yeah, I'm still on the hunt for the um, elephant holder and the butterfly holder. And I feel like that is, Pretty much it and any cute like little 75% off um, items or like some scent control wallflowers or if they mark down the wallflowers to $2.99 or $2.95. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and I'm keeping my eye out for Ice Lemon Pound Cake. I couldn't find that in store um, here in the Triangle area. Um, and what else? And, oh, and then Bronze Sunset, the candle. Uh, my friend wants another one of those. And I'm just like, I'm just so annoyed with Bath and Body Works when they do this. And I get it, like, why they do it. But it's just like, I mean, Bronze Sunset and them, like, sure. Are they summer three? And they probably just came out. Yes. But it's just, it's such a struggle when you go in the store and they're like, oh, select candles are $10.95. Like, you could see if they're like, oh, 75% off or only Christmas, only fall. And you're like, mm, okay, I get it, I get it. But then if you go in now and it's like, oh, well, these are $10.95 and these are spring and summer candles. But like, these specific ones that you see, like, those don't count. It's like, it's just. It's a mess. Um, and then one store, it was one of the stores in the mall that I went into. They had underwater Oasis, like on the 75% off table. And then the lady went and rang it up and was like, oh no, it's not. And I was like, that's fine. You can put it back there on the counter. No, thank you, ma'am. I will carry on. I only want 50% off, 10.95 or 75% off. Like, that's it. That's all. And that's it. Yeah. You said that's it? That's it. And that's all for our little haul for today. Um, apologies for the background. It is just hot mess express over here. Um, maybe we will take a quick little lunch break tomorrow and 
we will go through um, the fall and Christmas candles and like all the rest of the candles um, in the bookshelf for you guys. So then I can finally take the time to like make it look nice and pretty so we can like have something nice um, to <laughs> nice to look at during our videos, even though the house is in complete like, oh my gosh, we're traveling and moving chaos. What do you think? Do you think that'd be fun? Maybe. I think Winnie will like it because <laughs> she's sick and tired of me watching Vanderpump Rules in the season trying to catch up because y'all, oh my gosh, like this Vanderpump Rules mess is off the chain. Please let me know if any of y'all are watching it because I got sucked in and someone sent me <laughs> a list of like episodes to watch. So I've been watching like episode two, oh no, season two season five, season six, and a couple of season nine episodes. And now I've finally gotten to 10. I think I'm on season 10, episode 11, off the chain. But if you're wondering what's taking me so long with editing and putting out videos is Vanderpump Rules. Like it's called Lisa Vanderpump because it's all her fault because this drama is hot tea and I'm just loving it. Um, but anyhow, thanks for checking out the haul today. And what are we going to do, Winnie? Are we going to go eat ice cream? Yeah. And we are going to go eat ice cream. Hope you guys have a great night and we will talk to you later. Bye.